Yo, what's cracking guys? It's been a hot minute, but I wanted to make this video for the most part to be able to tell you what's kind of going on and kind of like an episode zero of what I'm kind of trying to do right now. So I'm kind of outside my garage and I wanted to give you kind of like a walk around of like what exactly I have, you know, on my sleeve. So let's turn this around. All right, so the last time you guys probably saw this, uh, it was is right here, obviously. Um, but what I really wanted to get into is my plans here for the most part. Um, I got all the wheels off. Um, I'm getting these seats out because I'm gonna clean them up. They're probably gonna go in this car. Uh, so that's gonna be dope. Um, I guess the goal for this car was always to be era specific. Um, I mean, it kind of just looks dope, right? Just, just the way it is on jack stands. Man, uh, right now I just really want to get the car driving again. Um, it's up on jack stands because Max Beanie Rods sent me uh, a set of their coilovers, which is which is great. Uh, I'm gonna try them out. Obviously, you guys can look at a plethora of, rev of reviews, but you know, if you want mine, I'll give you mine as well. Um, so yeah, just a quick rundown. What you guys already know, we got the B17. It's already in the EF, loving it, drives it. It pulls really hard because it weighs literally nothing. Um, but again, the goal was to keep it as aerospecific as possible. So that's why I always kept uh, this motor because I always had this car in mind for it. Uh, but I wanna refresh a lot of stuff. As you guys can tell, um, this is actually the Fast Brakes 11 inch front disc brake conversion. Um, so I have Integra calipers in the front. I think those are probably Corrado uh, rotors. Um, and I'm not sure if, um, I think his name is Brian, right? Because it's Brian at Hasport and Brian at Fast Brakes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. He was mentioning that um, they might not be able to get these rotors anymore. But literally, I put this kit on probably like, God, six or seven years ago and put zero miles on it, as you can tell, because this car never gets driven anymore. But what I really wanted to showcase is I have a lot of things that we're going to go ahead and replace here in the near future. And the first part of it was going to be obviously the OEM suspension uh, because I have these to go in. Uh, these are blocks, low ring springs, probably got them nine, ten years ago at a uh, NorCal Auto Styles in Fremont. Um, and that was, you know, a uh, they usually have like a New Year's special or something like that or Black Friday deal. So I bought those and those are the OEM. Uh, shocks probably 280k miles. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie to you guys this car literally drives great I know you're probably like oh yeah sure fucking whatever dude you got damn Honda boy But no, I'm dead serious dude like I can't complain man. It only dropped it just a little bit It only dropped it just a little bit, uh, but still handled really well, you know, but I do want to upgrade them I want to have a little bit more adjustability and since Max Beanie Rods went ahead and sent me some coilovers uh, I'm gonna check these out and then I'm really interested to see the new ones, the black ones with the pillow tops. So hopefully I can get those in the near future and kind of go from there. Not end game um, as far as coilovers, as I say this with an Olin shirt on, but they are not bad for street driving. That's what I've heard. So we're gonna find out there. Uh, but not to keep just going over and looking at the same set of suspension. Again, I need more time to get into this garage. So excuse the mess guys, but um, OEM drums. <laughs> Uh, but I do have DC2 rear trailing arms. Also bought them years ago when I thought this thing was really going to happen. But it's not. Uh, but I do have some OG, 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 uh, BWR lower control arms. Obviously to replace these stock ones. And then we're going to go ahead and replace the rear suspension. And then in the future, uh, replace the trailing arms. Um, and I do have a Checkered Sports uh, tow adjustment and camber adjustment that I'll be throwing on when that whole thing happens or maybe I'll do that sooner than later but again this video is going to be a little talky but it's more for me but hopefully you guys can kind of you know enjoy what a 280,000 mile EF looks like that's not completely messed up um, this exhaust is shot um, and what I mean by shot is it's just it's gone um, it is one piece and I know if you're following La Panda's um, journey over with static um, he kind of just replaced the exhaust and I can go ahead and kind of show you what I mean by yeah there's just there's just nothing in there right um, but the other thing I really wanted to showcase is just how not terrible um, the bushings are I mean they're not great let's be honest they're not great um, but 280,000 miles stock EF 
suspension, um, and you know, it could be worse. So it's a testament to Honda, a testament to uh, JDM, just whatever they're putting in their rubber back in like the early uh, 90s, late 80s, they were doing it okay, you know? Like hard forms Shinazzo grease or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So we got that. Um, drums are whatever, they're going away, but we, we saw what that's about. Um, and then obviously you guys saw that, got a wagon bumper. Shout out to uh, CRX dude on Instagram. Always holding it down for the EDEF community. Um, those are in the near future too, guys. Don't worry, those are my end games. Those aren't going anywhere. Uh, engine bay. Well, here. I'll show you this one too. S same situation. Fast brakes, obviously, in the front. Um, and everything's just OEM. This is actually a little better look. Sorry for the camera. This is actually a little better look. That's kind of ready to go. I have upper arms already. Uh, so we'll get those kind of swapped out in the near future. Probably need brake lines, but... I just wanted to give a walk around personally and for you guys to kind of see like what what I'm generally working with, you know, and the engine bay is pretty clean. Would love to do a tuck if possible. I do have, you know, I do have a harness. Some of you might know that I have a harness uh, chilling about uh, for the most part, but we can get that out. Full size skunk chew radiator here. Um, we are just triple OG igniter, uh, MSD igniter for this. I've had that forever too. Um, Obviously, I'm not trying to keep that era specific. I would love to go cop kit just to be like a little secure as far as tuning. But as you guys can tell, the engine bay is a little dirty. Um, it was way worse. Um, but yeah, I just want to clean this up, you know? Got the Hasport cable to hydro conversion um, down there. This is probably a better, better angle. There you go. So it is still cable um, as far as the car, but it is obviously a hydro trans. So you have to deal with it like that. Um, some random random header uh obviously you probably want to replace that but it runs and drives and i can't hate on that because just that's why i love this car it's why i bought it like 12 years ago and i'm still the owner obviously but um yeah shout out to uh aunt sleeper honda's brother i'll never forget never forget just kidding i sometimes give him shit but not really we brought home a b18 ls swap in this car once and he hung out in the back the whole time uh, holding up the motor and we got all the way home no problems and then this uh the um what's it called the shocks gave out um i've been hit in the head by trunk shocks like 12 times before that's like an inside joke with my buddies uh but then that came down this rear glass shattered i ended up finding a new one a black one this guy came and delivered it again an uh eternity ago had a dock badge on it kind of a little foreshadowing for the most part but that's just a little tidbit of story of my life have at it um yeah, interior, pretty OEM. Pretty OEM, guys. Um, that's what we're working with here. It's a legitimate chassis, you know what I mean? Um, I guess let's go over some blemishinos so we can kind of document that for the, for the future. Um, this is all rusted. I put some visors um, here a long time ago, and uh, it ripped the paint off because the paint is terrible on this car right now. Um, and it's just some surface rust and I don't know if you guys can kind of tell here, but it's just not really it's just like matte Comes off like powder. You can kind of tell right there where it's like focusing a little bit. That's just like it's just Metal with some paint on it, you know, but yeah, so that's That's where we are as far as a car here guys. I'll go ahead and give you another another little walk around I know this is probably like not that exciting, but if uh if you're into efs and you want to see like a cool little restoration situation here um i think it's finally ready um i know this is really talky but i mean you guys don't really need to see me you just probably really like the fact that this car exists because i do it's probably one of my favorite ones it's the del sol in this del sol in this you know i've been an enthusiast of this entire platform for my majority of my adult life my first car was a 95 EJ1. I've had five of those cars. Can't seem to get a hold of one. It is the true unicorn in my life. Um, but um, yeah, for the most part, it's the EF in this car that's really been able to hold it down in my life. So I feel like it's time for me to treat her right. Um, in this box, I have all of the goodies to throw into this as far as like upgrading the suspension and just bringing it back to OEM. First iteration is replace all the OEM stuff with as OEM stuff as I can get um, with some upgrades. I just want it driving again. As Soon as I get it up, I'm gonna throw the suspension into the car 
drive it out, and then I have some legitimate lighting from my garage I want to put in, and then once that goes in, we can start the legit teardown. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do as much as I can with this. I don't want to pull the engine out because it is turnkey. That'll be way later down the road, obviously, but we might we might get there, guys. But yeah, like I said, video Dr. Rem Dr. Blah, 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 Dr. Memory. Dr. Memory. Uh, episode zero, I guess. Um, cool. Dope. That's it, guys. That's it for this video for the most part. I know it was quick. But if you guys are really excited for this, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos on the EF, make sure to stay tuned. I already have the next video kind of set up. I just definitely wanted to come out here and give you a video of pre, whatever that's going to be like. So you guys are kind of on pace with where I am, and we're going to just get jamming on this. Have a good one, guys. Peace.